this is Barry and thank you for watching us another one of our videos on Zawanika YouTube channel. Merci as in the morning canal and YouTube is Zawanika. Zawanshami kani as my Barry has said. Today we're gonna talk about polite expressions. You see, when you interact with other people, you need to be polite to get them do stuff for you, to be friends with them, and other things. Okay, وقتی که با آدم پول ارتباط هستیم، of course you need to be polite. So today we're gonna learn about ten common polite expressions. So let me tell you a little story. See, I saw this English ad, okay, on the internet, which said, okay, let's say that you are drowning. If you are drowning, if you say help, uh-uh, no, that's not good. Nobody will help you. But instead, you may say, excuse me, sir, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. But I wonder if you mind helping me for a moment, as long as it's no problem, of course. <laughs> okay, so this is good. This is polite. Do you get the point? Um, of course, yeah, when you're drawing, you couldn't say all these words. You could uh, shout help, help, help. But yes, you get my point. To be more polite. So let's just start. The first expression is could or would you please? Could you please uh, give me that paper? Would you please come to my office? Could you please water those plants? So it's formal and it's very polite. So you can also use, I mean, can you open the window or will you open the window? You can use that, but this way is more polite, okay? Could and would, more formal. So this is very basic, um, very simple and very basic. So let's move on to the more advanced expressions. Could you please? Could you please? It's very formal. Okay. So if you don't mind, would or could you? If you don't mind. Would or could you? If you don't mind, could you watch over my cat? If you don't mind, could you put the dishes in the dishwasher? So you can use that even with your friends. I mean, um, you are asking for a favor, okay? A favor means something that um, you ask other people to do for you, okay? So you're asking a favor so there's no harm to be polite even with your friends so you could say if you don't mind could you please um put the dishes in the dishwasher i have other things to do okay um the next one is if it's not a problem could or can i or can you um let's say that somebody calls you okay uh your employee or your boss, I don't know, or your coworker calls you and they want to talk to you, but you are busy, like um, you're in a meeting or you're in a party or something like that. You have a lot of things going on. So you can say, if it's not a problem, can I call you later? Um, if it's not a problem, can you please uh, send me an email regarding this? If it's not a problem, can or could again could is more formal and can is less but if it's not a problem um makes it polite so don't worry about it can i call you later okay good so the next one is when you have or get a moment when you have a moment could or can you when you have a moment um can you send me those documents, please? So even you can write this in your email to your, um, I don't know, accountant or teacher, something like that. So you could write, oh, when you get a 
moment can you please send me those documents or you could even say when you get a second um uh, could you please come over here when you get a second could you please come over to my office uh, having get both are used in a spoken language but uh, in written language it's better to use half okay it's not very common to use get in writing okay um you have to go وقتی که فرصتش رو پیدا کرد اگه فرصتش رو پیدا کردی میشه لطفا could you please do that could you please do that when you get a second could you return my call when you get a second could you um, come to my house for tea uh, it's usually when you want uh, somebody to do something for you so uh, let's stick with sending me those documents or when you get a chance can you grade my paper please <laughs> let's say that you have a very lazy uh, teacher and they won't grade your paper so <laughs> you email them and say oh, when you have a moment could you please let me know about my score okay <laughs> good very good so number six is if you get a chance could you this is not necessary okay um so if, even if they don't do it it's fine but it's a favor it's not necessary but if they do it super if they have the time okay good do it please so if you get a chance could you water our plants it's not necessary for example you go on a holiday and you ask your neighbor uh for example if you get a chance could you water our plants okay but if it's a necessary thing okay um you can just change if to when it means it's necessary please do it we need it so when you get a chance um could you feed my cat so feeding your uh, your cat is really necessary but i can begin if you get a chance i leave laws and least okay ولی خب اگه انجامش بدن اوکی وقتی که تایمش داشت روشن اگه که یه چیزی لازم داشته باشین حتما you could say when you get a chance که when if نیست یعنی هر وقت تایمش داشتی این کار رو انجام بدن could you please feed our cat so that's fine if you get a chance could you check on my pet it's unnecessary let's say that you are out um, for a long time and you ask your neighbor if you get a chance i'm going out i'm gonna be back by midnight if you get a chance could you check on my pet please um so it's not necessary next one by any chance could you give me a ride home again by any chance could you okay we use this usually for big tasks like it's um hard for them to do or it's it's something big to do for them so you can say by any chance that your car is broken you don't have a car and you, there is no taxi and it's raining could you give me a ride home i know it's very far but could you by any chance so be careful when um you are asking them for a big favor use by any chance okay now this one number seven um i tr i would is a short i is the short form of i would i appreciate it if you would finish that report today this one i uh, if you have the authority somewhere if you are the boss or if you are the parent or if you are a teacher yes you can use that but don't use it with your friends or your equals okay so i'd appreciate it if you would finish that report it means i want you to do this and again i'm your boss please do it okay so if you have authority i i appreciate it I'd appreciate it. Okay, so the next three expressions uh, are when you want to give suggestions in a polite way. Okay, so let's say that in your company you have guests from China 
and today you are supposed to um, bring them, I don't know, to play golf. And but it's raining. So you want to so that's planned, but you want to change the schedule. So you could say, oh, what if we schedule for another day? What if we schedule for another day? So you could say what if to make it more polite, okay? Um, you are making the suggestion, you are changing it, but in a polite way. What if? Number nine. Okay, so how about if? So let's say that um, again you want to give suggestion and again you want to give suggestion to that, those Chinese people and you can say oh, well, what about if you go out uh, to eat instead? Hmm? What about we go out to eat instead? So instead of going to play golf you could say how about if we go out to eat instead what if and how about if for making suggestions this one um what do you think about this place what do you think about this what do you think about that what do you think about so uh this one is more indirect really mustaqim means like um yeah i'm giving this idea to see how you think about it it's not very definite, okay? So um, let's change this with this and see if you uh, can notice a difference in meaning. So what do you think about um, rescheduling for another day? Or what do you think about going out to eat? So you're not sure and you want to ask them. What do you think about this place? What do you think about that? Uh, remember, we don't use these expressions for uh, only business. We can use that with our friends. Like, um, your friend says, okay, let's go to the cinema today. And I say, okay, but we went to the cinema last week. How about if we go to the park instead? You can use that with your friends as well. Surprise, I have two more bonus expressions for you. So, <laughs> number 11 is you should probably um for example let's say that you are somewhere your guest in my house and you smell something burning so you say you should probably check the oven like you don't say go do it now you're making a suggestion like it's a very polite one you should probably check the oven um you see it's raining outside and you want to alarm your co-workers you should probably take your umbrella with you polite suggestion so the next one and the last bonus expression of today is i don't want to keep you so let's say that you're talking to someone but you're done and you want to say goodbye and you don't want to say okay i'm done bye or I'm gonna go you want to be more polite so you can say I don't want to keep you but it was great talking to you but it was great meeting you so it's not very awkward <laughs> because if you want to finish a conversation sometimes it could be awkward so you could say I don't want to keep you but it was great talking to you okay so so many polite expressions we learned today um i want you to use them to ask um me or other students in the comments to do your favor or give them suggestions okay so i will check them uh, thank you for watching tonight's video until next time take care